Tonius Camp. Now, this is a dungeon you're gonna get familiar with a lot. The first, there are a few things you need to pay attention over here. First, you get those generators. Uh, yeah, this one over here. Um, you need to stand next to them uh, like once every couple of minutes, or you're gonna take environmental damage. Basically, you're gonna be losing heat. Mm -hmm. So remember to uh, like periodically get to them when you're gonna start taking damage. The first boss, what's special about this dungeon, the first boss is literally at the beginning of the dungeon. And he's rather easy. <laughs> so it's a perfect place for farming um, rings. <laughs> You're gonna be doing like those hundreds of times. The way you're doing it, you kill the boss, then you click F11 and then complete, and then exit, enter again and repeat. <laughs> Uh, there's not much of a special about this guy. He puts a lot of uh, PP AOE around him. Um, does a lot of damage. You don't want to stand on it. He throws a snowball on people and then randomly runs to one person that wasn't having aggro. I grabbed the ones in the left. Uh, and then uh, basically like explodes them if you don't yep, yep. run. I was thinking you were running on this side. the second part which is uh, not something we can actually run uh, we have to go to three four points uh, to enable uh, is gamma well alpha beta gamma and delta point Unfortunately, in the past we tried splitting up and doing all the other crap. The problem is you're gonna stay in combat over here. So, so if you split up, it doesn't really change anything. <laughs> yep. The best thing to do is just avoid the uh, combat when. There's one mod that you really don't want to aggro over here, it's a mammoth. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass if you can aggro him, so don't. <laughs> yep. Did we aggro? Oh, you aggro something. <laughs> Just jump down and kill him on this side. Yeah, that's because you didn't uh, like jump in between the pillars over there. If you do that, they, they won't get angry. Everyone is dead. The camera has been destroyed. Wait, Dr. Thornius wasn't among them. And the last one. Though. Get your kit over here, and the last, well, well second boss. Mm -hmm. This boss is kind of similar to the. 
Uh, he summons lots of bubbles on the ground that you need to avoid. And at about 50%, the art on the left starts attacking you one after another. Yeah, but he won't summon many if he can kill them quick enough. Yeah, if you quick, you can avoid most of them. And you can uh, like force the, the kill as well. You know the art mm -hmm. you The downside is that you will still need to kill the ads anyway. <laughs> gonna make a rush the last one. Technically you don't need to kill those but if you are bad then you can aggro them just run to the bears and then AoE. Yep. Well I said bears but you know mutant mutant bears or something. We need to catch the radio tower don't we? Uh no that's uh Oh no, wait, we forgot something, you're right. Oh no, that's okay. It's either this or that. <laughs> I never go to the radio tower, so I was like, what radio tower? <laughs> okay, you can skip this pack. Oh no, oh, they moved the pack, you can't skip it anymore. Nice, nice. Okay, next up we're gonna pull it over here instead of the first. You could skip this back by just going next to the cliff, but I heard in last patch uh, this was fixed. Just kill those. Over here, at, uh, if you pull one pack, all of them come. First, we need to get some heat. The last boss is a bit of a joke because uh, the storyline over here tells that oh this is gonna be a huge kraken, whatever, and then this small-ish kraken comes. <laughs> the trick is to like break the boxes when the kraken is near to frozen. If you don't do that, he takes almost no damage. Yeah, you're destroying them too, too much. Yeah, I'm not. So he's gonna hit. Mm -hmm. I'm not there really. <laughs> not very sure. Oh, did we kill him? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> that was boss. <laughs> Nothing special. Up. 